Hey guys, so I'm here in the gas station. I'm filling up to go to Sanibel Island. So a lot of you guys have been asking for what is open for staying there in the island. And my plan for today is just driving, showing you how the places look and how is the overall look of the area. And then you make your own decision if you want to stay there or not. And I will make that decision too because my family wants to stay there. I'll probably be staying there too. So I'll be a good source for you guys, hopefully. We're gonna start with Marriott Sanibel Harbor Resort and Spa. This hotel is actually located in Fort Myers, but right next to the causeway. The area was really impacted by Hurricane Ian, but they are back and ready for business. If you're looking for a hotel close to Sanibel, but you wanna be around the other areas like Fort Myers Beach, Naples, and Venice Beach, this might be a great option for you. Sunset views are gorgeous and the pool is really nice. If you're staying here, this restaurant Bimini Bay Shack is really nice, so check that out too. Next, we're going to the very east of the island near the Sanibel Lighthouse. There are many oversized vehicles crossing the causeway to assist the recovery efforts in the island. Speed limits are slower than usual, so be mindful of that and respect the temporary speed limits as you go and enjoy the island. I'm really excited to turn left here and go to the east side of the island. I haven't been here for a while. I know the lighthouse, beach, and pier are closed, so this is pretty close to it and I can't wait to see how it looks. All right, we're arriving to Seahorse Cottages. They have options of two bedroom, one bedroom, or studio. Here in Seahorse Cottages, um, it says no vacancy, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys like how the place looks a little bit. It, everything looks beautiful. They do have a shared pool and it's for adults only. It wouldn't work for me, but it might work for you. So you can see some signs of the hurricane here, but I'm gonna walk a little bit more to show you that it's not bad at all. This little beach here you can access. You can fish and enjoy this area if you want to. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. I would love to stay in one of those cottages and to walk to the beach and see the sunset. It's beautiful. It wouldn't work for me because I have a baby, but it's a great option. All right, let's keep going. We have two more places to visit. And this time we're going to go to the center of the island. And this is the only hotel open in the whole section that we're going to visit. I wanted to take you guys through the drives so you know what to expect. And Middle and West Gulf Drive, you can see a lot of the hurricane damage still present. Not many businesses open. This used to be an area with many hotels, condos, and really a lot of business. So it's pretty bad and pretty dead. You can see a lot of the, the how the water washed out everything. But this hotel is open and it's crazy to me because there's nothing else open around it. So this is how the entrance look, but um, the areas that are open. So I'm gonna show you guys one of the buildings that is open. two buildings and I think they only have 20 rooms around 20 rooms available so this is another option guys you can stay here uh, they don't have a pool they don't have restaurant in place and rooms have a kitchen and a living area there's no elevators too so consider that you get free uh, beach chairs and they do have some picnic areas that you can go to. Um, you have access to the beach. If you're looking for like a place in like the meat section of Sanibel, this is the only one open. There are 20, around 20 rooms available, so they sell out quick. I'm gonna link in the description the hotel website so you don't get confused with any other one. And now we're gonna go to Captiva green water and that's a resort and it's supposed to be more beautiful and it's a little more pricey but it's an option. All right so let's go to Captiva 
and as you cross um, to Captiva Island from Sanibel, you can feel that the area is in better condition and the trees are greener. I think Hurricane Ian hit Sanibel harder than Captiva and you can definitely see that. But if you have been here before or after Ian, comment below and let me know what your experience was. I would love to see you guys' experiences and also if you have stayed in any of these places and you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. And we're entering Twin Waters Island Resort and Spa and I love that I can see the ocean from the entrance. This place has a great like Florida feeling and it feels like nothing happened here. I don't see any signs of the hurricane just as I walk into it. Literally beautiful area, well kept. People are having fun. It's right in front of the beach. You have to cross the street. There's also two pools, bars, restaurants, and everything's open. It's definitely the option that I will pick because of just what you get for the money. Also, here you can do a day pass. So I believe it's around $100 park your car, you can bring up to six people, you can use the pool, go to the beach, um, and enjoy the facilities. So that's something also to consider if you're in the area and you wanna enjoy Captiva without worrying about parking and have a pool, a restaurant, bars, this is a great option. All right, so these are four options for you. Marriott Sanibel Harbor, we have Seahorse Cottages, Island Inn Hotel, and we have Twin Waters Island Resort and Spa as options to stay in Sanibel Island as hotels. We're gonna make a part two for Airbnbs and BRBOs, so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.